<sighs> Ayo, why was them necessary? Look, if you followed my channel for a while, then you'll know that a few years ago, I attempted to recap and cover the show Them from Amazon Prime Video. And I couldn't stomach the show, and I never finished covering the season. I was surprised to learn that the show would be returning for another season, and this new season would be called Them, The Scare. Something that was interesting is that I was actually invited to participate in a roundtable interview with the cast and creator of Them to discuss the upcoming season. I thought long and hard, even had some heated, interesting debates with friends and family on the merits of such a conversation. But given enough time and thought, I landed on the idea that I had to participate in the interview. Once I made up my mind to participate, the next question was, what would be my question? I mean, in a full round table, there's a very good chance that I'll only get one question. So I wanted to make sure my question would be a good one. What could I ask this cast and creator to communicate how I felt while also trying to get answers on how they felt? This is how it went. Hi, my name is Gil Robertson, president of the African American Film Critics Association. Today we're speaking to the wonderful cast and creators of the uh, hit, amazing uh, Amazon Prime series, Them. We're gonna kick things off by introducing you to our African members who are on the call today, starting with Carolyn Hines in Toronto, Canada, Brandon Collins in New York, New York, Anthony White in New York, New York, Hey, good morning. Anthony White with the movie blog from uh, New York. Um, this question is for Deborah and Luke, but anyone can chime in. Um, season one sparked some strong reactions from audiences with some difficult to watch, sometimes difficult to stu stomach subject matter and imagery. Uh, season two seems to continue to show some challenging to watch imagery. I'm curious, like what's been the reaction of like, your peers, your your friends, your family towards the show in season one? And more importantly, what do you expect the reactions to be for season two? Um, so for season one, I mean, the people that I'm around, my peers, they really respected the artistry. They felt like it was very necessary, um, though it was definitely hard to watch for some people. It was necessary, you know, and, and for me, coming from season one, I understood it because I felt like there's some things that I've gone through in my personal life that it's hard for me to watch on screen, you know? But these type of stories, they're important to tell until we don't have to keep on telling them, you know? So I will always hold dear the foundation that we laid in season one. Um, and there are a lot of people that understood it. And I think that season two, I, at least the feedback that I've got and the, the, what I feel personally, is that season two will kind of bring a lot of things full circle. I think it will make people who maybe didn't understand why we had to go there um, for season one, I think it will make them kind of understand it in season two. Um, yeah, I just, I think the way, LM, the way that you just kind of continue to tell this story in a way that people can relate to, it's just beautiful. And obviously it being in the nineties, I feel like it just mm -hmm. makes it that much more relatable too, and that much more reachable. Um, so people that felt removed from it in season one, the feed, the feedback that I got is they felt even more like excited about season two. And the same for me. I mean, I, I, I pretty, pretty much heard everything. Uh, once, uh, once people found out I was attached to uh, season two. Yeah. I mean, I'm eager. I think I think that's the beauty of art, right? Is to is to ruffle some feathers. I mean, there's you know, it's yeah, in art we love a little bit of fantasy, but something that grounds us, uh, it, it heightens the experience a lot more. And um, 
Yeah, LM is a historian. So, I mean, I learned so much from season one and it took me on a ride. Um, uncomfortable, but I took the ride and I needed to know these things. I needed to know these things, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of us aren't privileged to our own history. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it's really cool when 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 a creator can can give us a dose of that along with entertainment in a sense um i think season two i think uh yeah it's gonna hit you over the head it's horror right get spooked and all of those things um but i think you have a lot a lot more fun with it and and understanding what lm is doing the mm -hmm. messaging and i think it, it just all comes together it'll be full yeah. circle for sure yeah, I agree. And that was it. Overall, I think it was a great roundtable full of great stories and anecdotes with the lovely Pam Greer reminding us all that Africa President Gil Robertson is a social butterfly and letting me know just where this cast and crew stand on the story of them. Please check out the full interview on the AFCA channel in the link above and let me know what you think about the Amazon show them in the comments below. Until next time, I'll check you all later. Peace.